Hey, what's up YouTube? Glassbox Aquarius here. Wanted to look at the rack of eight tanks today because there is a slight problem. Won't come into total focus. I am filming this off a cell phone, but I got worms. These are planaria worms. They're a flatworm. I did start treating the tank, but I wanted to try a DIY trap. So I did take this soda bottle. Down at the very bottom, I did puncture a couple holes and throw in an algae wafer and a couple shrimp pellets. And it worked. I threw this in last night overnight and you can see it's chock full of worms. I will pull this out in a minute as well. But strangely, I only find them in this one tank where I do house most of my shrimp. So obviously they're eating the little shrimplets or the shrimp eggs. I really haven't lost any parents at all. But, you know, this whole rack system is all one, you know, all off one filter. But I don't see them in any other tank even after stirring up the sediment. I did treat yesterday with this product for any kind of internal parasites or anything like that. I haven't sold out of this tank or done anything with this entire setup, so none of these fish have gone anywhere, none of the products have gone anywhere. But, you know, this isn't going to treat anything in the water column. This is just for the internal parasites themselves, which I use on a regular basis anyway. I did hit four pet shops to look for anything with the fembendazole in it, um, like the Panacure C that most people do recommend, um, PetSmart, Petco, and a couple other places, both are out of it, so I've ordered it off Amazon. So it is gonna be a couple days before I actually get it in. So I was willing to try the bottle just to start removing, you know, anybody. And I do have a couple of these soda bottles, so I think tonight, I will be dropping a few bottles throughout the whole rack system and then gonna go ahead and run those overnight as well and see what we get until I get in the Panacare C and dose everything. I'm not too sure what's gonna happen with the snails in all these tanks. I might start pulling them all out just so if they do pass away you know, I don't have an ammonia spike. I'm not too worried about them. The only thing that is concerning is I'm gonna have to dose all the tanks because I take the snails out of that rack system and feed them to this clown loach. Sometimes. Um, so, you know, all these tanks could potentially be contaminated. So I'm gonna run a full dosing setup. Some Furin 2, General Cure, that uh, Prezi Pro at some point again, along with the Panicure C. I might end up just dropping one of these plastic bottles in the system over there just to test it to see if I catch anybody that way and go from there before maybe dosing everybody that heavily. Not the end of the world. I'm not gonna strip down the tanks and disinfect everything. And like I said, I'm not worried. If I kill off all the snails, it is what it is. It's, they're snails. All right, it is day two of noticing that there's plumeria in the tank. Lights are off and I am dropping my DIY trap in again. Yesterday caught plenty of worms. So hopefully tonight I get another shot at collecting a whole bunch. 
I am still waiting on the Panicure C because none of the local pet shops or stores nearby have any kind of dewormers in stock with the correct ingredients. So try this again tonight, collect as many as possible, and hopefully Amazon treats me right. Okay, so day two, pulled out the bottle. Less planaria. I don't know if that means the trap didn't work today or there's just not as many in this system. But definitely just need to get the panic here. All right, this is night three with doing the DIY bottle planaria trap it has been working really well. I've not found any others in these tanks. Been coming down here with the lights off to check the tank. This one tank is chock full of them and you can't see anything with the glare on it, but uh, lesson learned, buy all your meds ahead of time. Even if you don't need them, get them. Now for the past three nights, I have been doing the DIY bottle trick to try to remove as many of these worms as possible. But with the Panicure C, with the main ingredient being Fembendazole, it's going to take care of, or hopefully take care of, this problem. Um, this package does contain three packets, each one being one gram. Each packet for a fish tank, though, treats 100 gallons of water. And that entire rack system is 100, 105 gallons, depending on how topped off it is. So I should be able to use one packet, treat everybody in that tank. The only thing is I've gotten mixed reviews if it's going to kill snails or not. Uh, we're going to have to find out. We'll just watch it, see if they pass away. If they do, we're going to do a massive water change and start pulling out as many snails as possible. If not, if they live, great. If not, they're pond snails. I'm not super worried about it. Like I said, this whole rack is about 105 gallons. Water level is pretty low, so I'm going to go ahead and use this entire packet. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle a little bit throughout the system. That tank there, I definitely am going to sprinkle some directly into that tank. Majority will end up down here in the bottom. All right, so it's been 48 hours since the planaria treatment with the Panicure C. And I can say I've dug around in the soil, moved a lot of material around in all the tanks just to stir up all kinds of sediment. And I have not found anybody alive at this point. And surprisingly, all the snails didn't have any effect on them. I haven't seen anybody die off. No dead shells, no moldy bodies. You can see this tank is packed with snails. All seem to be doing great. So now since it's been 48 hours, I'm gonna do about a 40 to 50% water change today. And then maybe within a couple days, this FX6 is due for a cleaning anyway. So I'll give it a couple days just so I don't lose too much biological growth or affect the water parameters too much. Um, just because, you know, I've never dosed with the Panicure C. I don't know how much beneficial bacteria it may have killed off, if any. So I'm just going to play it safe, do a water change today. And in a couple days, I'll clean out the filter. This way I get no ammonia spikes, nitrite spikes, or anything like that. And I think we'll be okay. drained out a whole bunch of water. We do have water going back in through my hose system, my little DIY. I do have fresh water going back in. Took out about 30 gallons of water so far. Decided to put a little bit of fresh water back in before this 40 gallon sump goes completely dry and the FX6 down there, the intake starts taking on air. So a little water going back in now. 
and I also started draining some water to do a water change on the 90 gallon tank itself. So two water changes going on at the same time, but I'm super happy right now. I don't know if I'm gonna retreat this system again for a second time, shouldn't have to. That one treatment should have been enough to kill the parasite, but I'm gonna keep my eye on it keep my eye on it for the next couple days and if I see any new planaria popping back up I may treat again all right guys it's been about two weeks now um, haven't seen any more planaria in any of the tanks so the treatments work just fine and I'm super happy about it shrimp are having babies and all the tanks themselves are doing great fish room is a complete disaster though at the moment but it's all right crisis averted guys i am going to put affiliate links in the description where you can grab yourself off of amazon panicure c the furin 2 the general cure from api as well and a few others feel free to click those links uh Help me out, make a penny on the dollar kind of deal with those, and uh, appreciate it as well. Guys, like, subscribe, hit the share button on there, share these videos with your friends, um, really help out the YouTube algorithm, and I appreciate it. Thank you.